back to the Music City Motorplex in Nashville, Tennessee. Coverage of the ASA Late Model Challenge Series. The season opener, the Waffle House 200, didn't get past the first corner of the race tonight before we've had our first caution. Earlier today, we sent Derek Bernasiglio to the paddock area to explain what these late model cars are all about. If you're moving up the ladder in racing, one of those first steps is a late model. And what's a late model? You're looking at it right here. This is an ASA late model. These cars have 58% left side weight. They run offset chassis, but there's two major differences between these cars and regular late models. One is right here with the tires. These tires are radial tires. Regular late models traditionally run bias plies. And the other difference is right here under the hood. This is a 420 horsepower crate engine. Now, when I say a crate engine it literally comes to you in a crate there's no more built motors in this series which makes the racing more cost effective crate motors great idea does hold down the cost for these race teams well, the lights are out of the safety car looking for a restart this time by before we go green Derek's caught up with one of the drivers involved in that turn one incident he's with Jason Deach downstairs Jason Deach is pulling the helmet off right now a tough break right in the beginning of the race what happened I don't know, some idiot behind me, I guess he don't know where he's going, but everybody's supposed to be taking it easy, and he turns me going into the corner. Well, Jason Deach, obviously not happy with another competitor. You hate to see that, especially at the start of the race and the start of the season. Absolutely, you hate to have your hopes dashed the first night out. Ready for a restart on lap eight, Chad Wood is out in front of the two car. Now, he started on the pole, he's out of Wisconsin, he's got a lot of experience, but boy, Eddie Hoffman in that eight car has been quick here all day. Hoffman chasing down the race leader, Chad Wood, as they dive into turn three. Hoffman able to hold that car down on the line through three and four. Wood leading by a car length as they hit turn one. I like the line that Hoffman has here, Rick. He's got the low side of the racetrack. Eventually, that's going to pay off. Hoffman has raced all over the country. He's got lots of NASCAR Elite Division experience. He's raced in other series as well. He's raced in the old ASA Touring Series several years ago. Wood also has run there. Pressure for the lead into one. Now Hoffman's got a good look here as they dive down into turn one. And Hoffman will make the pass and move by. So put Eddie Hoffman in the eight car at the top of the leaderboard. Now that's young gun Kelly Byers in third. He's right there as well. Byers trying to make that low line work as he dives under Chad Wood as they walk it down the front stretch. Hoffman by two car lengths and Byers with the advantage on the bottom of the racetrack. So put Byers up into second. That shuffles the pole sitter all the way back to third. You know, Eddie Hoffman's got to be enjoying this. Watching the two guys behind him going side by side, that just lets him pad his lead a little bit more. That's Landon Castle back there in that black number seven and the, another young driver in the ASA Late Model Challenge Series. Everyone very excited about his future in stock car racing, but Kelly Byers now giving chase to Hoffman down the backstretch. All right, let's see what Byers can do now that he got around Wood. He clearly has the number two spot. He's trying to make that low line work like Hoffman did on Wood a few laps ago. Back a little further, you see the 29, Brian Campbell. He started up in the top six. Talk about family traditions in stock car racing. His father, the legendary Freddie Campbell from Michigan, who raced with Johnny Benson Sr. all those years ago. Brian, another youngster with a bright future. Eddie Hoffman has dominated. He took the lead early tonight here at the Music City Motorplex. That Lisa Thomas Salon Chevrolet has been a dominant force. They put tires on the car, made a quick adjustment at halftime. You heard Eddie Hoffman tell Derek Bernasiglio he wasn't sure they might have gone too far in one direction. Doesn't look like it. Derek needs to take a good look at that car at the finish of this race tonight because I don't think there's a single scratch on it. Doesn't look that way. Coming to the white flag next time by for Eddie Hoffman in car number eight. Hoffman with one to go here in Nashville. Eddie Hoffman, the dominant force. It took him to lap 10 to take the lead. Nobody's touched him since that point. Hoffman off of turn two. All he needs to do is keep it between the fences. One more half lap here at the Music City Motorplex. Second spot belongs to Brian Campbell in the 29. Eddie Hoffman is going to kick off the ASA Late Model Challenge Series season with a victory at Nashville in the Waffle House 200. Landon Castle battling here with the 74 of Jay Middleton for seventh. Middleton will get seventh. Castle comes home in eighth. Jake Ryan ninth. And Travis Dasso, who spun early in that 92 car, Dasso comes home in tenth. But Eddie Hoffman with a dominant run, virtually a flag to flag run to victory here at the Music City Motorplex. When we come back, we'll meet the winner in victory lane.